Hello you poor unfortunate souls and welcome to Villainous. We are playing Ursula and we will win when we start with the trident and the and the crown at Ursula's lair. Ursula's lair. We shuffled the fake deck. We have shuffled the villain deck. We got 20 rounds to win. Let's see if it'll focus. Oh good, it automatically focuses this time. Didn't do that last video. So we got 20 rounds to win. Uh, we have our fate die here. We will fate ourselves on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 for a 40% chance of being fated. I have not really played Ursula very much. I have played her before, but not very often. So we have the uh, pamphlet, the Villain's Guide, uh, just in case we need it uh, if we run into any issues. And uh, without further ado, let's begin. We start by drawing four cards. One, two, three, four. So, uh, right now we start with, uh, Divination, uh, costs one power, uh, reveal the cards from your deck until you reveal a binding contract, put that binding contract into your hand, discard the rest, okay? Uh, the crown costs four to play, uh, the crown, oh, so that's one of our win conditions we already have, <laughs> so we just need to try it now, uh, so the crown, look at the top two cards of your fate deck. Either discard both cards or return them to the top in any order. And we gotta activate it uh, to do that. And we do that by going to a location with that symbol to activate it. Uh, binding contract uh, costs two. Uh, it's the green one. Attach binding contract to a hero who is not at Ursula's lair. Then use uh, that, that hero is defeated when they are moved to her, Ursula's lair. Can't read tonight. And trickery, a condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player has six or more power, you may play Trickery, reveal and play one card from that player's fate deck. Okay, so usually, uh, when, um, when we play solo on the condition cards, we treat it as I need to meet the condition, and if I do, then I can play the condition card for free. Uh, but with this card, it doesn't really help us at all, uh, because we're not playing against anyone, so there's no one to fate. So with this one, I think it's just a dud, basically. I'm not sure how to treat that. Uh, leave comments below on how to use condition cards like this, where there's no point in having it apply to us <laughs> like other ones do. Okay, so uh, let's begin by moving to the shore. We will collect uh, three power. Uh, let's move that. Well, we can discard. We're going to definitely discard Trickery because we don't need it. Um, so we have the crown. We don't have enough power to play it. Um, but we can get a binding contract if we want. I don't know if we want that yet, though. See, I'm not really familiar with this character, so I'm not really sure what the strategy is going to be uh, as of yet. So, why don't we do that, though? Well, let's do that. Let's see what kind of cards we have here. So, uh, reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a binding contract. Put that contract into your hand. Discard the rest. Oh, I did not want to discard that guy. I, I know enough that <laughs> to know that that guy's good. Oh, man. Should not have played that card already. All right, well, here's that. There's that. Okay. Uh, and... We can play another card, but we're not going to, so we'll end that turn there. Uh, let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, eight, we do not. Uh, move down around 19. Uh, we can draw one card. All right. What did we get? Change form. Move the lock token uh, either to... Ursula's Lair or the Palace costs one to play. So that's how this lock mechanism works. We change form and then we just move this from here to there or from there to here. Uh, but let's see if we want to do that. Uh, so what does the crown do again? Okay, so the crown is going to help us get the trident. And so we'll want that ability available. It's not here, um, but 
this location is the only one that lets us move heroes around to defeat them. So I see what they're trying to do there. So what we'll do is, uh, oh man, okay, why don't we go here, we'll get one power, and why don't we, uh, I don't want to change form just yet, so we'll discard that, we'll hold on to everything else, um, because we need to build up power so we can play the crown, so I don't want to spend any power, so let's end that round there. Uh, one, so we get faded. Good thing we held on to those contracts. So, uh, ooh, Trident's already there. Okay. Uh, so Sebastian. When Sebastian is played, take a binding contract that is attached to any other hero and t attach it to Sebastian instead. Okay, so it's not too painful right now, but let's see. The King Trident. Uh, the cost to play a binding contract or a fet that targets King Trident is increased by one power. And he has six strength. So I think that's definitely going to be worse for us. And why don't we play him there so he blocks our ability to use the crown. Alright. So that's it for that turn. Move down to round 18. Let's draw a card to get back up to 4. Okay. Whirlpool. Costs 1 to play. Uh, move a hero to any unlocked location. Let me just get keep an eye on this camera, make sure it's working properly. Okay, looks like it is so far. So, uh, let's see. So this one applies to the shore. This one applies to Ursula's lair. Hmm. And of course I don't have one for Eric's ship, which would help me defeat King Trident right now. Uh, but why don't we move here? We'll get three power. Let's spend four power to play um, the crown. And why don't we play Whirlpool for one power, because we can play two cards at this location. And, and so this allows us to move a hero to any unlocked location. Ooh, actually, let's not do that then. Let's hold on to that. We're not gonna do that just yet. Let's hold on to that. So let's uh, see if we get faded. Whoops, whoop. Oh, it landed on a two. So we will not re-roll, we will just, uh, oops, did it camera, okay. We will just uh, make that the fate action. Grimsby, uh, when, here we go. When Grimsby is played, you may move the lock token to either Ursula's lair or the palace. Huh. Or Schnarfblatt. It's an item. Uh, attach it to a hero. The cost to play a binding contract on the hero is increased by three power. Why don't we do that? Yeah. Yeah, why don't we do that so that it costs more to put a contract on Trident. Trident. Move down around 17. Get one card. Okay, what did we get? Okay, change form. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll go here because we can at least get a power. Because it's going to cost, let's see, these usually cost two, three, four, five, six. It's going to cost six power to put a contract on them. Um, I'm going to discard change form. I hope I don't regret this. I want to keep that whirlpool, though. So uh, let's end that turn there. Uh, see if we get faded. A five, so we do not. Move to round 16, draw a card. Uh, trickery. Oh, it's that f stupid condition card. Ugh, useless. Okay. Well, I'm glad she has two locations with discard, because that 
really is beneficial. So we're going to get three. We'll discard trickery. Um, do we have enough? So we need, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have enough to play something on Trident. Uh, let's use the shore, because, yeah, let's do the shore. Oh, I want to play on him. So it's going to be two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All my power. Costs all the power to do this. Okay, so getting somewhere at least. Um, and we don't have enough to do anything else. So let's see if we get faded. A nine. We do not. Move down around 15. Draw two cards. No, I just noticed that they have this little, like, copyright thing uh, right there. I haven't noticed on any other villain's cards before. It's interesting. Whoa, 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 okay. Wow. Um, so why don't we go here? No. Yes? No. Why don't we go here? We'll play... Oh no, we can't. Okay, we have we have to go. Wait, where were we? Crap, we were we were here, right? Yeah. So we're going here. Okay, we're gonna get one power. We're gonna spend that one power to play Whirlpool. We're gonna use Whirlpool to move a hero to any unlocked location. We're moving him to the shore, which triggers this contract, which defeats Trident. So got him out of the way. Uh, so we played a card, we can discard, but we don't want to. We got our power, so we're good there. So that's it for that turn. Nine. We do not get faded. And also, let me know if you guys can think of an action to replace the fate actions, because that doesn't, it's like, just takes up space in a solo game. No one to fate. Round 14. Draw one card. Ooh. Okay. So we got this one. Arrogance. Oops. Uh, during their turn, if another player defeats a hero with a strength of four or more, you may play Arrogance, draw three cards in your hand, then discard any three cards. So at least we can use that. Uh, we could have used that when uh, we defeated Trident. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go here, get one power, uh, we're not gonna play anything, uh, but we will activate the crown. Look at the top two cards of your fate deck, either discard both cards or return them to the top in any order. And we don't need to spend a power to do that. So it's the top two, top two cards. Hmm. I'm going to discard both because we want to get that trident out. Uh, okay, so that's it. That's going to be it for that turn. So let's uh, see if we get faded. Eight, we do not. Move down around 13. We have four cards, so we can't draw anything. Uh, let's go over here. Get three power. Uh, let's discard this. Let's uh, spend two power, play Flotsam there, and um, we can play another card, but we're not going to, so we'll end that turn there. Let's see if we get faded. A two, we get faded. Ariel, when Ariel is played, move an item at, uh, to her location. Um, until Ariel is defeated, Ursula cannot move items. So when Ariel is played, move an item to her location. But it doesn't say play it on her. So let's go here to move the crown far away from her, from where it needs to be. And she's away from that, from uh, Flotsam. So that is that fate action. Move down to round 12, draw two cards. All right. What did we get? 
Ooh, poor unfortunate souls. Uh, you may move each hero to an adjacent unlocked location. Okay. Cost two, though? Why does it cost more than Whirlpool? Whirlpool's so much better. Oh, each hero. Okay, I see. Uh, opportunist, uh, search your discard pile for an item or effect and put it into your hand. So I think I'll discard both of those. So we're going to go here, I think. Get one. We're going to discard both of these. Um, do we want to play a contract? Yeah, because I need to move this, so we need to get rid of Ariel. So we'll spend two power to play this contract on Ariel. Um, and that's it for that turn. So let's see if we get faded. Uh, five, we do not. Move down around 11, draw three cards. Did I just move everything? Okay. What did we get? Another binding contract. The Trident! And another binding contract. Okay. Very good. This is what we want to see. So let's move here. Get three power. Let's spend one power to move Ariel to Ursula's Lair, which will defeat Ariel. And um, we're going to hold on to everything else. So we'll end that turn. Let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, eight, we do not. Move down around ten. Draw one card. What did we get? Arrogance. Uh, <laughs> we could have used that again, but we keep discarding it. Okay. Gonna move here, get one power, gonna move the crown uh, with that. Um, trident, so to Eric's ship or to the shore. Uh, oh, do we just wanna get that out? Yeah, let's just get that out there. So we're gonna play this, spend four, play the trident here. We have to get King Trident, who we already defeated. And this goes, so, so let, let's make sure we're doing this right before we just jump to conclusions. So when Trident is played, find King Trident and play him to this location. Attach Trident to him. When Trident is defeated, Trident is returned to Ursula at the same location. Why does, why did, why does Trident sound so close to Triton? Anyways, put him like that. Um... So we, let me see, hmm, okay, I was thinking, did we mess up, but we don't have, uh, so what, I'll tell you what I was thinking, so if we would have played Trident at this location instead of here, Trident would have been played there, the Trident would have been attached to Triton, and we could have used this action to move Flot, uh, to use Flotsam's ability to move him over here if we had the contract for that place, but we don't. So we're not doing that. We're doing it the other way. We're doing it this way. We're doing it live. So that's it. Seven, we do not get faded. Move down around nine. Draw one card. Okay. Don't need any of that crap. So, let's go here. Get three power. We're going to discard both of these, right? Yeah, we're going to discard both of these. We're going to spend two power. Oops, not all three, just two. Uh, actually, we have to spend all three. Because the cost to play a binding contract or effect... That targets King Trident is increased by one power, so it's going to cost three, not two. Put that on him. And that's it for that round. Move down to, well, let's see if we get faded. 
Six, we do not. Move down to round eight. Draw three cards. Ooh, this is... Oh, wait. Oh, man. Okay, well, we... Oh, well, okay. Okay. I think we're okay. Okay, so we're gonna do... Oh, we're not okay. Well... Okay, we may not be okay, but we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna gain one power. Uh, we would we would have played this to move Trident here to kill him with that contract, but it's gonna cost two power to do that, not one, and all we can get is one. So we'll just have to hold on for that. Um, so let's just hold on. We'll in that turn get ah oh, we get faded. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, that's not that's not gonna do anything. Um, search Ursula's fate discard pile for a hero with a strength of four or less. Play that hero to Ursula's location. So the worst for us is gonna be probably Ariel because it'll prevent us from moving the items while she's out, or uh, Sebastian. Um, because they'll remove a contract. But I don't think that's that bad. I think this is worse. And we so said we have to play it to Ursula's location. Okay. Okay. So, um. Okay. So. I'm going to go here. I'm going to gain three power. I'm going to play, um, oh man, there's multiple things I want to do. I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play Grow Giant for one power to perform an available action at a location adjacent to Ursula, even if that location is locked. So I'm going to use the move a hero action to move King Trident over here, which will defeat him with this contract. Which moves the Trident down here. Sorry for the wobbly camera. Knocking into the, um, to the tripod. Okay. Um, did I? She was here. Yeah. Um, and I can play another card. I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to spend two power to play Binding Contract on Ariel that, for the shore. And that's all I can do because I play two cards. I can discard, but I'm not going to. So that's that turn. Let's see if we get faded. Uh, nine. We do not move down around seven. Uh, we draw two cards. Two cards. What did we get? Grow giant. It's uh, we can do the adjacent location thing. Okay. Okay. So we want to move here. Get one power, and we want to activate Flotsam's ability. Move a hero from Flotsam's location to an adjacent unlocked location. Boom, which will defeat Ariel. Okay. Um, now we're going to uh, we're going to use uh, that uh, uh, action to move the crown. And, um, uh, that's really all we can do right now. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, yeah, okay, this is fine. Okay, so that's it. Um, so, as is tradition here, I'm right about to win. I just need to... Actually, I'm not right about to win. So, let's keep going. We'll roll the fake die. Because it's not guaranteed yet. Eight, we do not get faded. We move down around six. 
We're going to go here, gain three power. We are almost about to win. We're going to play, uh, we're going to play Grow Giant for one to be able to do an action here. And we're going to do that, uh, we're going to do the move an item or ally action to move the trident there. And now we're about to win. So we can still play another card. Come on. We can still play another card, but we don't want to. We don't want to discard either. So that's it for that round. All we have to do is start our turn and we win. Because we have both the crown and the trident at Ursula's lair. So now we will do what is our tradition here. We're not going to roll the fate die. We're going to automatically fate ourselves and see if there's anything that we draw in these next two cards that will prevent us from winning. Dingle Hopper. Attach Dingle Hopper to a hero. Each time Ursula moves to this location, she loses one power. That will not prevent us from winning. Scuttle. When Scuttle is played, uh, search uh, Ursula's fake discard pile for an item and attach it to Scuttle. Okay, so neither of these will prevent us from winning. We can play both of them. Play that on him too. Uh, when there's a free discount for input, so we can attach any item to him. Let's see if there's any item that would. So we have that item. It's the only item we have. It just increases the cost of a binding contract. So we can do that too. We do all the things, all the fate things. And it's our turn now on round five, and we win the game because we started our turn with Trident and the Crown at Ursula's Lair. So there you have it. Uh, that's it, so we won. Let's see, is the camera still rolling? It is. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Again, uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment for what we can do with the fate actions, because right now they're kind of useless uh, in a solo game. And uh, let us know what to do with that uh, condition card that seemed also useless, this trickery one. Uh, let me know if there's a, an action or an ability that you can use in a solo game uh, that makes that card not completely useless in a solo game. So anyways, that is it. Uh, it is time for us to recite the Litany of the Meme. The night is dark and full of terrors, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the Force will be with us, always, against the forces of he who must not be named, as we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble, in the name of Muad'Dib, so say we all!